missing out is a particular wretch given that this was the venue where she returned to action after being the victim of a knife attack in her home in Prague. Two years ago, I made my comeback here at Roland Garros, so I'm truly sad not to be able to play here this year, she added. It is a really tough decision to make but I wish tournament all the best for a successful event and can't wait to be back in 2020, the tournament confirmed. Petra Kvitova has this morning announced her retirement from Roland Garros because of injury. We wish her a good recovery and are eager to see her again next year. Speaking to the press, she confirmed this issue flared up in practice. Here I felt some tightness in the forearm. It wasn't something new, so, for me, it was okay. Sometimes I do have tightness in my forearm, which is nothing really unusual, she said, but then, I hit a normal forehand, and suddenly I felt a sharp pain in the forearm. Tears went to my eyes, then I went to ultrasound. They didn't see anything on ultrasound. They sent me to MRI and they found the tear there. The 29-year-old is in the midst of a fine year, just one of three players to have won multiple events on the WTA Tour in 2019, having taken the titles in Sydney and Stuttgart. Moreover, she reached the final of the Australian Open, where she was defeated 6-7, to 2, 7-5, 4-6 by WTA world number one Naomi Osaka. Her place has been taken by Slovenian lucky loser Kaja Juven. Let's block ads. Why?